What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to run through three tricks you should learn before you even think about trying to unhook. One, three, five, go! Coming from the wild, wild west indeed. Okay guys, so the first trick you're going to try is a back roll. Straightforward, you're just going to be cruising along with your kite around one or two o'clock. Load up, pop off the water, look over your front shoulder, and just keep looking until you see the water again. Land, bring your kite down a little bit, and you would have landed a back roll. Now basically, there are two ways you can do a back roll or any sort of pop off the water. One is parking your kite, which is the more advanced way of doing it. And two is actually using your kite to lift you up, kind of like if you're doing a jump, but not quite a full jump. So basically you're riding along, kite's around 2-3 o'clock, you're going to scoop it up until 1, almost 12, pull the bar in, load up and pop at the same time, and that will kind of just help lift you off the water into the back roll. And then as you come around, see the water coming down to land, bring the kite down. And you land it back. And trick number two is a front roll. So once you've gotten back rolls down, you're pretty much ready to try a front roll. This one's a little bit more technical because with the back roll, you load up pop, look over your shoulder, and you kind of just fall into the rotation. Whereas with the front roll, you have to load pop, and as soon as you leave the water, you're forcing your body forward and looking over your back shoulder, and you keep looking until you spot the water, and you will have done a front roll. The technique that I'm showing you guys right now is using the kite. So basically you're scooping the kite up to 12, whether you're going to the right, going to the left, and that's what kind of helps you get up into the air and focus on your rotation. Okay, and trick number three is learning how to load and pop using just your forward momentum and your board instead of sending the kite up to actually get lift off the water. And this is super useful because this is a technique you're going to be using a lot when you actually start hooking. And you can also apply this to your hooked in front rolls and back rolls. So let's jump into loading and pop. Okay, and the key thing with loading and popping, it's all about kind of keeping your kite in the right position and using the power and lift from when you pull in on the bar as well as loading up your heel side edge. So I'll show you some examples now. So we're coming along, basically kites around two o'clock. Good speed, we're gonna start pulling the bar in. And as we pull the bar in, we're gonna load our heel edge way up in, quick load. And as we feel a little bit of load and pop, we're just gonna release our heel edge, pop forward with the kite, and use our forward momentum, as well as the lift from the pulling in the bar, to get us a little bit of pop off the water without having to send our kite. Okay guys, hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully it helps you figure out everything that you need to, to get to the stage where you're ready to start and hooking. If it has, or if you feel like you already are at that stage, I've actually already done a video on everything you need to know about hooking. You can check that out in the description below. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. Uh, it really helps the video spread around, so you'll actually be helping out fellow kiteboarders like yourself to see this video. So we all love that. Big ups to everyone. Um, and also leave a comment so I kind of know what you guys want to see in the next video. And as usual, just big thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Big ups! You just kind of spin. Just spin it, right? You just spin. And the board kind of does it for you. You just dig your back foot in, lift up your, your front one. Okay. Spin. Boom. Simple. Back roll by Megan, guys. Back roll by Megan. Wow.